You read the title, you know what we're doing, so let's get started with, um, I guess we're doing Treasure Night this episode. Ooh, speaking of treasure, like, my outfit matches this level, clearly. <laughs> um, anyway, sorry it's been a while since I've recorded this, guys, you know, I've just, <laughs> I keep using the same bloody excuse, so I just haven't really had an opportunity to record. I'm thinking, um, I was actually thinking this a while ago. <laughs> After, like, I can't do it this recording session because, uh, it's really late and I can't really be recording multiple episodes. But I figured, um, I should just, instead of just recording one episode a day like I used to, or at least, like, re not recording one each session is what I mean to say. I sure as hell aren't recording one a day right now. Um, yeah, but anyway, basically to, um, just record a bunch when I actually get to record so I can actually have, a, you know, a decent amount of content to put up instead of waiting, like, two weeks with the last video being some unboxing of some cable I have barely used yet. And of course it's one of these things, why do I waste my time? I'll just I'll snipe this guy from over here. <laughs> Doing flips, come on, there we go. That took longer than it should have. What's my default random thing? Uh, the phase locket, I believe. <laughs> it's just been so long since I've done this, you know, I, sh I should not be taking two week breaks. That even I don't know what the hell we're doing. <laughs> Oh man, um, no, I guess the thing that's been preoccupying probably everyone recently is, uh, yeah, that, uh, that, that console thing came out, you know, that Nintendo Switch, which, um, Shovel Knight's actually already on that thing at launch. Interesting, eh? They're really trying to get those, uh, indie gamer people playing. Yeah, it's like two Nintendo games, like, the Bomberman game, so like one third party game, and a shit ton of indie games. Which isn't that bad, I suppose. And there's a bunch of Neo Geo games for some retarded reason, which I don't really get. Like, why Neo Geo? <laughs> why not, like, like, a bunch of NES or Super Nintendo games? I don't know. I guess the Wii U didn't have a Neo Geo. I know the Wii did, but I guess the Neo Geo didn't. So the Switch having Neo Geo uh, games is kind of refreshing, I guess. <laughs> kind of. Only an apple. Soggy apple. Everything here is soggy. Just gotta be careful. Uh, I mean, I guess we really, we really are playing Mega Man right now. Like, look at this. Just uh, as if you can crawl across the, across the surface of nothing. Did you guys see that crap? Oh, I feel like there was a checkpoint earlier that I didn't break, but eh, whatever. <laughs> uh, ooh, let's see. What do I got here? Well, I mean, you could just abuse the phase locket if we wanted, or you can just do it this way. I mean. Oh, 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 I thought, thought, thought I might have bounced up into the spikes then, but, uh, thankfully not. Now, I feel like this fishing spot is actually a music sheet. Well, if I didn't accidentally press it too early. <laughs> I find it funny using the fishing rod actually uses up magic, like, damn. Th that was an expensive, uh... <laughs> expensive use of magic. Alright, alright, what did I want to say? Right, it's the Switch. Anyway, before I start rambling at Neo Geo games, uh, yes, yeah, like I said, Shovel Knight's on there, but they have actually launched the uh, Spectre of Torment campaign for the Switch, and it's like only on the Switch right now, so if you're like dying to play that, you can rebuy Shovel Knight on the Switch, which I was kind of planning to do anyway, but not digitally at least. Uh, I'd definitely wait for a physical release, which like, as if they're not, like, come on, it's like ukulele, I mean, for like, Playtonic games, people are making ukulele, like, Oh no, there's no Switch uh, physical release now. You'll have to transfer your uh, uh, Kickstarter download or whatever to uh, Switch Digital, and we're not giving you a physical upgrade. I'm like, yeah, fuck off. I give it like a month, and there'll be a physical Switch version or some bullshit. <laughs> Perhaps. It's just such an. It is a pretty nice console. I should probably actually give my impressions on it too, eh? While I'm just killing squids in the. Well, po <laughs> what a. S evil way to kill things, just poking them in the eye with a shovel. Like, damn. Damn, damn. <laughs> I haven't actually gotten to play the Switch too much yet, but from what I played, like, it came out, uh, yesterday now. For me. And, um, yeah, I was at the midnight launch, it was pretty, uh, interesting. Wasn't too many people there, I didn't really expect there to be, but, um, yeah, there was enough that I had to wait in line for a bit, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Uh, yeah, got it, set it up, had to go to work the next day. I actually did get to play some Zelda at work, though, during my breaks, which was awesome. <laughs> uh, playing a new Zelda game on a console at work. <laughs> uh, it's awesome to say, be able to say that kind of thing. 
Oh yeah, kill kill him with coins. I swear this power this like rune is so useless. <laughs> it's like the most useless thing you'll ever see. Poke in the eye. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, but the switch is like awesome though. I, I love. <laughs> Easily my favorite thing about it is the um the screen. The screen. The f the funny thing is the screen looks so good that when I switch back to my TV I'm like damn that screen looks better than my TV. <laughs> Which I do actually have a fairly old TV, like not super old, but my flat screen is from, uh... Shit, when did I get this thing? I got it when... Oh man, this is, this is actually a really hard question. Because <laughs> I, I know I got it when I changed my beds back when I was in my old house. But I have no clue when that was. Uh, <laughs> is our mini boss, which uh, you thought Chester was gonna be in there. Well, who says he isn't? <laughs> um, but yeah, that would have been. Uh, I want to say. I do want to say 2010. So yeah, this is like a, this TV is older than my Wii U, basically, <laughs> or, and my 3DS too. Like, damn, this is an old TV. I mean. I think it's max resolution is like that laptop resolution, like 3000, 3000, 1300, so it's like extremely slightly bigger than 720, which you think wouldn't make a difference, but res resolution isn't everything that makes a screen look good. Um, yeah, you see, see like this fish here, this is actually, <laughs> the shovel knight actually looks pretty great on my TV, just because it's like all pixel art, you know, there's nothing too, like you won't be able to notice the uh, problems. Unless it's like, you know, a more detailed object, I suppose. Alright, give me that anchor. I think I just got the axe from Castlevania. Eh, seems to be... <laughs> seems to be about that. Dude, I, for some reason I just have this feeling I'm missing breaking so many of these checkpoints. Oh, oh I'm still breaking checkpoints? I better not die. Like, I know I've played this game a lot, but it's been a while, so, you know... It might possibly happen. I just... Shouldn't be too much of a problem, just keep my uh, selection on the phase locket so those spikes won't one-hit kill me, because we can't have that. That would be highly unethical. You know, as unethical as uh, swapping all the genders in your game. Yeah, Shovel Knight would never do that, swapping genders. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> no, they're actually doing that. It's not, I mean, it's not the stupidest thing I've ever seen, but like, it is kind of pointless. <laughs> At least how they announced, well not announced it, but one of their more recent um, like blog posts about it or whatever, they said like, because we shouldn't like, they said something really stupid, like we shouldn't divine people by um, the genders or something, I, 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 can't, I can't remember exactly right now, but it was really stupid. <laughs> Make me think maybe a tiny bit less about the developers, or at least the PR guy, then again, I, <laughs> who gives a shit about the PR guy? <laughs> Oh, by the way, minor touch, you gotta love the uh, goldy fishies you fish up. You know, they swim when you fish them up, because we're underwater and all. <laughs> stab, stab. Jump on. <laughs> it's like they put them there on purpose. I think we're getting closer to the end of this level. Definitely feels a bit longer than some of the previous levels we've done. Actually, I should be using this. I just don't want to take my equipment off the... Um... Oh, I can't. Yeah, can't use that on a, uh, the, the, the ropes, the, uh, ladder, yeah, I, that's what they're called. Snakes and ladders? Yeah, that's what we call that game, right? Um, something like that. <laughs> Whoosh. Yeah, honestly, I probably would have re-bought Shovel Knight on the Switch if it was cheap, but I think it's like 20 in America, it's like 30 here, man, I got this, <laughs> I got this version for less than that, and this was a physical disc. Oh man, Nintendo's kind of been backwards like that though. Even um, on like the Wii U, they still tr they charge like higher price for the digital version than you can go pick it up in shops for. Like, what the hell is that? Just hey, purple guy, die please. <laughs> uh, I never really got that because I thought the point of digital was just like ease. Well, I mean, I guess it's still easy. You know, if you had a good internet, <laughs> I'm Australian, so I clearly don't. <laughs> Yep, jump up, hey, anchor, hey, I'll, hey, anchor, I heard you like anchors, so I'll throw this anchor at you, while you be an anchor, because, now I need to be throwing, like, people at people, <laughs> so I can eat people, 
and um something. <laughs> oh, I gotta be careful of this guy. Oh, well, good thing I got knocked back that way. Now, yeah. oh, it's times like this I really wish I was playing as uh, Spectre Knight. No, not Spectre Knight. I'm <laughs> Plague Knight. Man, I'm already confusing their names, and I only just started. Uh, um, no, I didn't start anything. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm on about anymore. Just ignore me. Now, I think... Yeah, I just kind of want to go over this guy who's going to probably... Oh, shit, look at my health. I still have, um... Yeah, I still have two things, so I should be good. I'm not playing on super hard, though, so I, there should be health pickups. So I shouldn't really need to, um... Yeah, I'm just going to use one. Like... <laughs> um... Right, it's the same button it is to use any item. This is just so awkward, because it's like, you need to get in line to hit the guy, but then there's these stupid things shooting crap at you. And it's like, you can't really jump on him, because he throws, he lobs stuff, he has the same weapon as me. How about a taste of your own medicine, which is actually pretty bad against you. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Didn't need to use the potion, there was food right there. <laughs> what a waste of, um... Ah, uh, <laughs> me saying I won't need a potion ever. Well, I mean... <laughs> I was probably going to use one eventually anyway, especially especially if I'm breaking every freaking checkpoint. Like, of course I'm going to start using them. I don't want to die and have to replay the whole freaking level. Like, that's... A, and I hate these guys, by the way. It's like they throw that thing in such an annoying arc that it's like if they try to advance forward, you'll basically have to get hit by it because you, they've left you with, like, no space. Oh, now that was satisfying. Like, hitting them all like that, oof, top stuff. Now, yeah, yeah, we're, this is like right before the final corridor, so, I gotta play it cool. Uh, uh, don't touch spikes, uh, uh, and jump, because it's gonna blow up. Success. So now, here we have our screen for the boss. I feel like there should be doors opening, you know, like, like you know, it's Mega Man. <laughs> this whole level is Mega Man, the underwater physics, the boss door. My gems, my vessel, my ocean, your very presence tarnishes. You are to lay claim to the sea itself, your greed no no bounds, treasure knight. Well, actually, the sea is owned by, uh, that one guy. Oh, I don't know why I put the phase off it on there. <laughs> hmm, is there, anything, is there, like, a good weapon against this guy? I don't really think so. It's one of the easier bosses, though, just because you have so many opportunities to hit him. Like, I know I'm not doing a good job of it now, but uh, I suppose it's because he's being a dick. Uh, usually he's still, he'll stay pretty still, but I guess he just wants to move around and dodge that attack there. Usually you would, you know, just move upwards, but he's being a dick. <laughs> yeah, this attack, don't. Yeah, there we go. Kill him before that thing can suck me in, because that's so annoying. He, like, he steals your money. That's no good. We can't, we can't have that. I need to spend that money on uh, non-expensive items. Yeah, that stage took us a while, eh? We uh, definitely won't be able to do another one this episode, no siree. Now, do I want to ch actually, after that stage, like, we've seen me flipping enough, I'll probably switch to the actual useful armor. <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. Blow up those locked doors. That's like, oh, we can do this, actually. No, we can't, because we, <laughs> we didn't get the thing. That's the item you need from that's from Mole Knight stage. Uh, well, I suppose before I shut it off, we can uh, check that out. I, see, I can't even remember if I already bought it or not yet. Do I have to buy the armor? Yes, I do need to buy the armor, because I did not buy it. Here we go. I've got to say, I'm not a fan of the color, though. It's just kind of drab, like, ugh. Where's something I can bounce on here to show it off just real quick? I'm pretty, like, this sign over here, I can. Can I, can I get multiple bounces on this sign without, like, no, come on. Just gotta approach it from the right angle. No, <laughs> I know this is totally possible. I don't know what, like, it's like I can do it if I jump off from here. Maybe it's because I have, oh, it's probably because I have too much. Like, if I jump off from here, I'm not falling as fast. There we go. <laughs> that took me way too long to do. See, now, as soon as uh, you do the two jumps, you just instantly get a charge attack you can just let off at any time, which is pretty good because charge attacks are powerful and have long range, and they're everything you want in an attack. <laughs> anyway, enough of my ramblings. Oh, ooh. Uh, no, no, never mind. We're still playing. We're still playing. I got this mini thing to do to eat up some of our leftover uh, time from that stage. Oh yeah, cash money. 
That's not actually cash. It's ju <laughs> it's jewels. That's called gold. Ah, hmm. I, I can totally do this. We just gotta like that. <laughs> no, now, now, how do I get back up there? Um, think, think. Well, I can use this. Oh no, I can't use that. Okay. Uh, no, I don't think we can get back up there. Oh well. Unfortunately, I have lost some. Hmm. Nah, cause I, I can't even attack upwards even if I wanted to, so... Like, even if I could get over there, I couldn't do anything about it. Oh well, got myself a big pink gem to make up for it, which is... Oh, damn it, now I missed all that crap too. Come on, you can totally... Look how high up you can jump, as if you couldn't jump back up there. You shovel of knights, you... Oh man, I'm doing, I'm doing a terrible job of this. Well, at least I should be able to get all these. And, you know, let off some, uh... Charge attacks in frustration. Oh, instead of stabbing the eye, I just flipped his head off. That's a, a vast improvement. Man, that's a lot of... Look at all that. Bam, bam. That was like a thousand or some shit in there, actually. Four, thirty, plus... Dirt, dirt, eight. It was nine hundred. No, because... No, it was a thousand, because uh, the uh, pink jam is a two hundred. Yeah, a thousand exactly. Okay. All right, enough. <laughs> enough. Okay, can something else appear that I can do real quick? Actually, we've probably spent enough time this episode. <laughs> Alright, next time, which hopefully won't be like two weeks, we will do Mole Knight's Lost City of Atlantis stage. Which isn't Atlantis, because it's lava. <laughs> uh, lava Antis, you could say. Oh, See you next time, guys. <laughs>